Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and today I'm excited to introduce you to the brand new MIG Weld 140. This machine runs on 110 power, simply plug it into the wall, and it's rated for a full 3 16 and also has an optional spool gun available for it. Now let me take you through the setup as it comes right out of the box. The first thing that I've chosen to hook up is the ground cable. Take that, we'll put that out of the way. Then we'll come to the front of the machine, come right through the ground hole. We'll snake this in. Then inside there's a little clamp and we'll route that through there. And I'm going to set this up for DCEP, direct current electrode positive. So we'll put the ground clamp on the negative side. And then it just gets fastened into place, this little knob. Next up we'll take the MIG gun set up for the steel. And we'll just simply insert this into the hole. Push it past so the two O-rings go in. And once it's all the way in and grounded, you'll see the tip poke through. We'll take this little nut and get that started and tighten it down in there. Then we'll take our little cannon plug hanging off and we'll attach that right up here to the front of the machine. Snug it down. Now our MIG torch is hooked up. Now let's load some wire. This right here is the standard configuration as it comes, but for myself, I happen to buy some wire with a small hole through it, so we'll have to take the adapter for the big roll off. We'll just take and set this aside. Install our spool. It's a little insert inside there, a keyway. Attach that on the shaft and we'll snug this down. We'll feed it down here through the hole, down past the drive roller, and you have to use a finger to kind of get it down in this hole. Put it up, give it a twist, just make sure it's putting enough pressure on that. Then we'll plug the machine in, turn it on, and we'll feed the wire through the gun. Now with the machine turned on, I like to pull the trigger, and just get the wire to feed through. I also remove the tip so it's just the liner that's showing through. That way it gives the wire just kind of a nice even transition through. Now once your wire feeds through then I can just put the tip back on, get everything put back into place. The setup for the regulator is pretty straightforward and simple. Basically you have a gas hose and you have your regulator assembly. The 17 millimeter, you'll just take the input hose, do a quick visual inspection to make sure there's no contaminants. Screw that in. And with the 17 millimeter, you just torque it down a little bit. And then here on your regulator, we'll take this and screw this in. And same 17 millimeter, just tightens down. Then we'll do a bottle purge, hook that up to some 7525 and we'll be ready to go. One of the nice things that I really like about this welder is the simplicity. On off switch and instead of these being detents or presets, they're rheostats so you can really fine tune your arc volts and your wire speed in. Another thing that I really like about this welder is on the inside cover it makes it real simple to set it up. It gives you what uh, shielding gas that you're using, the metal thickness, and the type of wire you should use to weld that. Set up with some 8th inch hot rolled right now. Uh, the suggestion on the machine says that I should use 30 thousandths wire. I don't have any, so I'm going to do it with the 25 thousandths, and I'm getting pretty good results with it. Come through and I'll tack these together.
What a beautiful bead for such a little machine. I wouldn't hesitate to put a roll cage together with this. Although eighth inch is real thick for body work, but one of the things I like to gauge a welder by is being able to start and stop. Uh, in body work you're going to do a lot of tacks and then start interconnecting them just to keep the heat out of the material. So we'll see how that works with this one. Not a missed arc start all the way across. Now switching over processes. Want to take the MIG gun out for steel. I'll take this white switch, turn this to the spool gun. We'll just simply insert the spool gun in here, tighten down the screw, and connect our quick disconnect cannon plug. Now we're ready to start welding with the spool gun. What I have here is some 63 thousandths aluminum, 5052H32. I have some 4043 wire loaded up in the spool gun. I have the machine set to 60 for the wire speed and 30 for the arc volts. I'm close. Um, I got my argon flowing right about 15 CFH and I'll come through here and I'll tack this up real quick. Not too bad. That's something what I'm looking like for uh, doing some production stuff. That wraps up the review of the MIG Weld 140. I have to give that two thumbs up. i uh, love to have one of these in my shop and I'll be working on that in the future. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel and I'll catch you here next time.